conference. Uh, we are joined by the awaiting coach, uh, Coach uh, Tamla. Welcome, Coach. Thank you, Sister. <laughs> uh, coach, if you can just give us a brief summary of the match from your perspective. I think it was a good game. I think um, we knew from our analysis that Harrods, of course, they 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 good ball ball playing playing team. So, and the legs that we've used on Saturday we, were not going to last us the whole game. So we tried to manage the game a bit in terms of where we want them to have possession. And um, yeah. They had two chances on the right before the goal, um, and the goal came through the same way as those, chance, those chances came through. And um, we considered, I think, just over 35th minute or something. Um, I think before that, we, 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 we managed the game. Um, we had our own plan of how to play a bit in the second half, so we. We, we managed the game a bit all right in the second, the first half until we considered. And um, yeah, the penalty was just unfortunate as well. But going 2 0 against Parades, we had that uh, the past, past game. And it was going to be difficult. Uh, so yeah, we tried our level, level best with what we had in terms of the second half. And um, yeah. They, they manage the game very well with lots of experience. Thanks, uh, do you have any questions from the floor? If you're not, I'll show them. Please identify yourself as well as the media company you present prior to asking a question. Do we have any questions from the coach? Coach, I'm looking at how you played today compared to last week. Um, there was more intensity. There was more aggression from the players, but today it was more like more of a you know very soft approach. I, I don't know is it something that you planned on not for your players to go hard on anyone or on the match itself? You seem to be more relaxed. If somebody watched this match in the second half, you would think that you guys were the ones leading from it. I think you you. When you think of the game of Saturday, the way we played, you use a lot of energy. You lose, use a lot of. Um, you get your body gets gets a hit. That's why rugby they played um, weekends on weekends so that they can have a good rest. So there was a good physical contest, but um, yeah, coming to this game. You saw Kwaiba, who is the player of the, of the month. Congratulations to him. You saw him today, though he was not himself. Um, he played the full 90 last week. That took that took its toll. Um, so yeah, we we had Azola, the left back, who hasn't played in a long time. Uh, we. We had Lutuli who also hasn't played in a long, in a long time in the, in the left side, so I think he, has, he hasn't started in more than six games. Um, so we needed, we needed to manage. If we had gone pound, pound to pound against uh, Parrots early, the score wouldn't be what it is now. It probably would have been more. So, yeah, listen, we, we had a game plan. We take it if... if, if if it didn't work, that's our job as coaches to take it. So we tried what we needed, what we thought was best for the club and best for for this particular game playing Orlando Parades in Orlando as well. So yeah, that that was that was a strategy. <laughs> Good evening, coach. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. And maybe my question will be a bit biased. I think uh, maybe if you can just expand on how good uh, Abu Abdul also can be. I think he's one of the most gifted players in, in your team. And I saw you did a lot of uh, coaching with him on the line. Uh, how good a player can he be? And do you see him staying at this club maybe in the next year or two? No, he's not going to be. It's not going to be long. He won't stay long. I think um, if you see Tito at Parades, he. he you know, left footers, they're special. They're special players when they are playing up advanced positions. So 
when it's a left footer, it's something special. Dane was different kind of special, but um, left footers, they always give you uh, problems. And um, yeah, he's, we just want to build him up for, for next season. And then, yeah, I don't see him staying long at Chipper because of the quality that he's got, of course. Um, we want, to, want him to grow mentally as well um, and physically. So yeah, he's, he's going to be a good asset for, for Chipper for the last three games and also for, for next season. Yeah, I think um, with Caden, of course, having worked with, with youth, um, DBC, um, I played a lot against Chipa and um, I, I saw a lot of him. And uh, he did get some opportunities before we got here. He did get some game time. But um, yeah, I think he's a, he's a, he reminds me, just because I'm here at uh, Orlando Stadium, so I'll say he reminds me of uh, Joseph Ngake, kind of a player back in the days. And, uh, um, and uh, Kwaiba is a is a box to box player. He's a, he can play as a ten. He can play as a as a six. He can play as an eight. So he's got good engine and um, a good technique as well. Um, but he needs he needs time to grow uh, fully as a player. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Coach Kopo worked with him at Pretoria Achilles, um, and uh, when we came through, he knew him already. So yeah, we. When we assessed the team, we thought he would he would be good for us. Um, um, so that's why he got the opportunities, and we are happy that he has grabbed the opportunity. It's just today was not his day today, like any other player. Any more questions for the coach? We'll take the final two. Yeah, coach, it was hard luck on the result. You had that good run. Um, it was four four wins in a row, and uh, there were clean sheets. But you've now had this run of um, four losses in a row. Um, but obviously, you also get to see how were those losses, those ones back to back up against Paris. What have you learned uh, in this period after that high? No, definitely. When you think of it, you know. Um, Number one, let's look at the depth in the team. Uh, we had a couple of suspensions, a bit, some injuries coming through. So that is something that we need to look at. Um, and also the games that we lost before, the first two games that we lost, we lost them on the last last minute for Mazulu we lost. On the 96th minute, uh, they scored, uh, was it, yeah, it was a penalty. And then, of course, Swallows, Scott also extra extra time, I think. Um, so that that tended the confidence. Of course, when you are playing Orlando Parades, um, you you have to respect the club has been here for long. So um, the quality that is there as well in the club with Orlando Parades. So uh, the two other losses, um, we we. We went pound to pound in the in the net bank, and um, I think there was a break before the kickoff, and I was looking at the other side, and I saw how they 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 were switched on in terms of getting into into the game, um, and then of course us we are learning in this game. Of course, us we our warm up was not as 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 thorough as theirs um, immediately when the kickoff went on. They, they they were switched on, they were on fire. So once you start conceding so early against Orlando Pirates and you put yourself on the back foot, um, it becomes difficult. Um, kudos for the guys for coming back and making it making it 2-1. Uh, but um, yeah, I think today 
Um, like I explained with what NetBank game was to us, we lost Eva, who was very good in that game. Um, we, who else was missing? Motise, who got injured, uh, reoccurring injury in the groin. So uh, Mosele is still out. So he was part of the, when we were doing so well, he was, he was the, the engine with Baraka for us. So yeah, just like I'm saying about the depth of the of the club, of course we that's that's something that we hope to fix. And uh, now, but now it's an opportunity to give the young ones to see what they've got before we go look outside. Another question. Thanks, to you. Coach. Uh, maybe on on that slump subject, you know, Chifa is very quick to you know, fiery coaching. What's the way from him uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, now that are coming from sport? He's got a bigger vision, I think. Right now we are part of that vision, so... Um, that's the word. We are part of that vision for next season, so... Um, sorry, Jake, bad coach, but there's something that I need to find out from, your, from my observation. Working with Coach Juanele, uh, you guys have got two different personalities. Um, he shoots from the hip, you're more of a calmer person. How is it, how, how do you get it right that you, you, you get to contain him in his high, you know? And uh, looking at the statement, him trending throughout the week about the racial slayers and all of that, how do you guys solve that internally? Because it's something that really, really got us talking about. I think having worked with, with Coach Kopo um, as a player, <clears throat> he coached me uh, 2004 or five when I arrived at Supersport and um, he was the assistant for with Coach Thomas Marihache, so the late. Um, he was, they were, they were assistant to, to Coach Pizzo and um, having worked with him so long and in the, in the, in the previous football club, it, I got to understand his character, and um, I got to understand the buttons that um, that trigger him. So, um, so uh, we have a very good understanding and respect um, between each other. So, we, we I'm happy that he can listen to me. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we 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 try to to use that, of course, as as positive. I think we have learned from the late. Thomas Marihache and when he was working with Gavin Hunt and um, when he was winning the treble, so that's that, that's that's the kind of a relationship uh, because we're both close to Thomas, so kind of a relationship that we try to to push up and that understanding. Not much, Mr. Coach, for a press conference. Uh, we'll be back shortly with the press conference. Thank you. Thank you.